Um, what is that thing that you may see in somebody that makes them stand out, whether it's a submission through a resume, through your site, or an email, or an in-person meeting? Um, is it just something that, you know, their character strikes you and their energy of, of working with that person? What do you look for and what's your advice? That's a great question. I mean, point of view, actually reading. What, I mean, and, not, and also having diverse interests, you know? Like, if I say to you, have you read the books that we have? Great. What other books are you reading? Yeah. What, other movie, what was your favorite movie this year? Tell me a filmmaker I haven't heard of that you just think is awesome. Um, you know, also it helps generationally. Like, you're a different generation if you're younger. Like, it's great. We need to hear more about what's interesting to you. What, what do you like? I think um, I'm always looking for people with a sense of opinion. I think an opinion is important. Yeah, I agree totally with that. Um, and I've been in that position. You know, when I, I was 29 when I met Anthony Mandela, and, I, and he could have hired anyone. And I was like, I said to him years later, I was like, why did you hire me? I, I literally didn't understand it. And he said, because I knew, you know, we would have fun and that, you know, you would make me laugh, like literally, because I brought him some level of joy, you know. But <laughs> obviously he thought that I had some level of skill as well. But, but it is that, I mean, I, you know, I just think it's so important to be true and excited, like optimistic. Um, passion. That, sometimes that's the yeah. difference between us hiring one writer or a different writer. We can feel the passion. We can tell when people yeah. aren't prepared. It's a bummer when you, we've carved yeah. out, like, cause we, oh, we are busy and we are moms. We carve out time to like sit with somebody and they're not passionate about anything or they haven't read the book or they, and it just still happens. It happened to us this week. Somebody came and hadn't read any of the material. And it's like, okay, well, I'm not taking a second meeting. You know, <laughs> this is all you got, you know? And you can't fake it with smart people. If, you're, if you get an opportunity around smart people, you can't fake it. Do the best you can. Like, you know, look up all the little patterns of movies. Where did he start? What is his favorite thing, you know? And, and, and it's important to, to really do your research.